in this video i am going to discuss gsi that is global secondary indexes in more depth that how this can impact the latency cost and other aspects of dynamo db so let us start decide on your requirements because how much latency is acceptable in your application flexibility right access cost and storage all these lead to decision that how you want to project your attributes so please take care of this aspect there is a trade off between cost latency and flexibility because if you select all the attributes from the base table which have to be projected then cost will be higher because for every right operation they base table will have to be replicated right versus if we are projecting only the keys right then you will lose the flexibility of having the gsi so there is a trade off between all of these so all these things will have to be understood carefully and while designing the gsi or dynamodb data modeling right so that time attribute projection plays a key role at that time that's why i am stressing on this in case there is a requirement of projecting few attributes you can project those attributes it lead to lower write and storage cost what does it mean so rather than projecting all the attributes from the base table you can have as few attributes as possible which fulfills your requirement also then most of the non key attributes on a frequent basis for example your application is required to access most of the non key attributes on a frequent basis right then there is a recommendation that project these attributes or even the entire base table it results into the maximum flexibility but at the same time cost is also going to be higher because the write operation will have to write the same data into gsi if you recall from my previous video where i have covered that gsi maintains its cost storage all those things read write capacity write capacity unit it maintains separate from base table so it incurs the cost for that and another thing is that use keys only where query is infrequent right you want to fetch some value for some attribute maybe some count right all those things then in that case this is the good option to go with it leads to lower cost as well as lower storage cost as well so on gsi we can perform either query or perform scan right and please note that two operations on dynamo db tables which are get item and batch get item cannot be used on gsi now coming to some other concepts related to gsi base tables primary key attributes are always projected into an index right so whether you use keys only or some other kind of projection so please remember that it will be always projected into index gsi only tracks data items where its attributes actually exist so for example we have given a partition key and sort key for a gsi and while inserting the data into base table the value of partition key and sort key for gsi we have not inserted then it does not track the write into gsi because gsi write will not happen because there is no primary key partition key or sort key available in that record right so gsi won't be written so i have given a table also that when gsi write will happen or read will happen and how much it will cost 
i will create a table at the end of this video you can watch this or you can skip to that section if you want applications cannot directly write to dynamodb index please note that you will have to write to base table and it is automated process in which dynamodb takes care of writing that data into gsi based upon whether partition key and sort key are present into that record or not gsi is automatically synced eventually consistent in case of write operations on main base table right gsi is not supporting strongly consistent behavior data types of pk and sk of gsi must be same while writing in the base table so it should not happen that in gsi you have set the data type of partition key as string or same is the case with sort key but while ingesting the record value right for partition key and sort key of gsi you have given some other data type maybe number then gsi write will not happen please make sure that data types are same because dynamo db does not track your data types right whatever data whichever data type you are going to write in dynamo db it will accept that because it does not differentiate so in that case if there is a difference in the data types of partition key and sort key while ingesting the record so that will not be written into gsi please make a note of this make sure this at the application level only you cannot do anything at the dynamo db side itself and provisioned throughput settings are different from base table this is also an important concept read capacity units gsi supports eventually consistent reads that is it consumes half of a read capacity unit and the maximum size limit of the query result is 1 mb so it cannot return more than 1 mb of data this is very very important because it can lead to application failures or application design failures when you are expecting your data to be more than 1 mb by the server side apis then you should reconsider your decision about dynamo db or you should think of some alternative wcu is affected during a write operation in the base table write capacity unit wc is affected during a write operation right and the provision throughput setting must have enough write capacity to avoid throttling because whatever write capacity units are there for base table gsi maintains its own capacity units it should have sufficient capacity so that throttling does not occur so it will lead to that throughput exceeded exception factors affecting wcu cost as i mentioned some time back so these are the factors and these are the impact of that write a new item to the table that defines an index attribute or update an existing item to define a previously undefined index attribute then the impact is one write operation on gsi same way if we are making update to the table and that update is leading to change the value of index attributes from a to b then there are two writes required and another one index attributes to be deleted one write only item is not present in the index as i mentioned earlier no additional write cost update to the table only one write you can pause this video and go through all these factors which are going to impact the cost of your gsi's how will it read how will it write and please try to practice on your own in aws console then you will get fair understanding about gsi and you will be more comfortable in designing the gsi
and I think in most of the application GSIs are must and without having GSIs you will not be able to fulfill all your access patterns of your application. Now storage usage calculation is that the storage space of an index is the sum of the following that the size in bytes of the base table right it is sum of all this you can calculate on your own this is just a simple slide which I have kept for your reference purpose. 